Hey, Blair! <laughs> right, Blair, honey, now you have an excellent ballet class, and I'll see you when I come to pick you up, all right? Yes, Mother. And you do know what today is, don't you? Um, no, I'm afraid not. What is today? Blair, why is it that I always know the goings-on in your ballet studio better than you do? Nonetheless, today you will be finding out what your production is this year for competition. <sighs> really? Yes, and just like last year, and the year before that, and every other year you've been in this studio, I believe you know what is expected of you, don't you? Yes, Mother. You are to get the lead part at all costs, just like you have every other year. Don't let it slip through your fingers this year, my dear. Alright, I'll see you after class. <laughs> uh, hey Blair, is that your mom? Oh, yeah, that is. You know, she looks very familiar. Is she? Lena Viola Knightley? Yeah, she is. Oh my gosh, she's the American ballerina of the 20th century. Do you know who your mom is? A woman who expects way too much out of her kid. You wanna go to class? Oh, um, yeah. Do you? Not really, but we better go. Come on. Coming Blair Knightley, daughter of Elena Viola Knightley. That sounds so cool to be your friend. I still can't believe that your mom is Lena Viola Knightley. I mean, obviously the last names were kind of the same, but I just never could have guessed it. Well, she is. Hey, and you know, I wasn't meaning to eavesdrop or anything, but I kind of overheard her talking about roles for something. What exactly is going on today? Oh, well, today is the day that we find out what our production is going to be for the year. So that means every class, including today and any class after until we find out what our roles are, is going to play a major part in what your aunt decides on placing us in. Isn't there like a formal audition, though? They watch us like hawks in the class to make sure that they make the right decision, including how the person, you know, dedicates their time and all that. Oh, wow. I've never done anything like that before. I haven't decided whether or not I should blow it this year. No, Blair, I really don't understand. You hate ballet so much, but your mom was a famous ballerina, and why do you still keep coming? I mean, what's your story all about? Well, as you know, my mom's a famous ballerina, so she decided as soon as I was born that she would sign me up for ballet lessons as soon as she could. And she did, and guess what? I'm gifted. Apparently I'm talented or something. Ballet is my thing. And they, so ever since I started doing the whole competition, I always get the lead role in the ballet, no matter how hard I try. And I don't know, someone else who actually loves it should get it. I only keep coming back here to make my mom happy. I don't know, you don't have like a bad experience with it or anything. Maybe if you just gave it a second chance, you'd find you actually like ballet again. I don't know if that's possible. I haven't liked ballet since I was, what, nine, ten? Can't you just tell Aunt Flora that you don't want the part? I mean, Miss Flora. As if she's going to need to. I am a shoe in for the part of Cinderella. I mean, that's what I heard it's going to be this year. Calista, you don't even know. You're just hoping it's Cinderella because you're a blonde. As if Freya. And either way, whether or not she's blonde, I'm totally going to get the part. I've been training much harder and am far more talented than Miss Blair over there ever was. She's just lucky that her mom was a born dancer. It doesn't mean that the gift was passed along, though. You heard what she said. You have never beaten her out for a role. She's obviously much farther talented than you'll ever be, or ever could wish to be, really. Oh, please, Freya. We were children then. No one really had a lot of talent then. You really had to cultivate your talent, as I did. You know, Blair over there just sat wallowing in it forever, and now she's finding herself ungifted and depressed. It's not that she doesn't like ballet, it's that she can't do it. Well, sometimes I wish I lived in Callistopia, because that sounds exactly what I want to be happening, if you would listen once in a while. Or you, apparently you're not very good at eavesdropping, Callista. <laughs> Whatever, Blair. Hello, 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 girls. Now, today is going to be a little bit less conventional, because I have some big announcements to make. So, if you could please come to center, we're going to miss out on bar today. And, of course, my mom predicted it. All right, now, because I'm sure everyone is very excited to hear what the big news is, I'll tell you so you can focus on class and not be too, too eager. Our big ballet for the competition this year is going to be... Cinderella, Cinderella, Cinderella. Please don't say the little mermaid. Cinderella. Yes! And because I'm the only blonde dancer in the glass, I assume I'll be cast the lead role as Cinderella. 
Actually, Cliss said this year we won't be taking into account what the ballerina looks like as far as choosing her part goes along. It's all based on your talent. Any dancer can become their proper role if she's a good enough dancer. It doesn't matter what color her hair is. I've still got it. That's totally what I meant. Good enough? Ugh. The formal audition for our parts will be held this Saturday. I know that you'll all be attending because you're all in the performance class, so I can't wait to see you there and see what you can bring to the table. It's going to be a fantastic season this year, ladies. We're fantastic. All right, girls, now get to center. Let's begin. All right, let's begin with some tondus, girls. Five, six, seven, eight. Freya, you know it's very quite endearing. Huh? find it entirely adorable that you think that you or any of your little friends could beat me up for the part of Cinderella. It's the part I was born to play. As if. Do you even know who, you know, anyone in this class is? Perhaps you could maybe, with a little bit of effort, beat me out. But there's no way you could ever beat out, you know, Blair or Lila. You're crazy. With all the extra hours I put in, it would be crazy for me not to win. This a contest now, and I put in extra hours too. We all do. It's always been a contest, and I heard about that. You've been putting over extra hours in the East Coast. I always knew you were a traitor. You do not know what you were talking about. I have not ever gone to the East Coast, and I never will. Sorry to interrupt the conversation, ladies, but I believe we're in the middle of ballet class. Would you like us to wait for you to finish? Oh my gosh, Auntie, I. Freya, I'll talk to you at home, and Callista, I'll be talking to your mother after class. This is not a good way to start. Freya. Freya, what was that? What was what? What was up with you and Callista in ballet class today? You aren't exactly one to get in trouble all the time. I don't know. Freya, the situation isn't going to improve until you let me talk to you about it. I just really wish I didn't ruin my chances today, you know? It's all downhill from here. Freya, what in the world are you talking about? Today Blair's mom was talking about the whole audition process. Said that you start watching us from the day that we find out what our production's gonna be. And I ruined it today, so I guess I'm not gonna make a very good Cinderella. Maybe an ugly stepsister. It's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna judge you based on what happened today. You're a wonderful dancer and you're gonna be treated just the same as whether or not today happened. I just wanna know why you keep running yourself around Callista. That girl's not worth talking to. She's a terribly gifted dancer, but she ruins it with her even more terrible attitude. Terribly gifted? Okay, well that's a little mean, Auntie Flora. It's very good. <laughs> and you know, she has such a good chance of being Cinderella, but her attitude just isn't worth it. She isn't Cinderella. You know that, right? She's a mean girl. Well, it's only been recently. She used to be such a sweet little kid when she first started taking lessons with me. It's funny, today when I went to talk to her mom, she never showed up. In fact, it seems like Callista always gets picked up by a car and driver and her mom is rarely around to pick her up and drop her off. Must be too busy. Is her mom really that busy? She choreographs on Broadway. I'd say she's pretty busy. Oh, another family of dancers. Hey, you come from one too. Yes, so, but I mean, no offense, you and mom aren't exactly Lena Viola Knightley or whatever uh, Callista's mom's name is, choreographer on Broadway. No offense taken, but you know, it's not where you come from. It's what you can do. Suppose you're right. And in auditions on Saturday, I'm going to show you exactly what I can do. Hope you do that. See ya. Be at dinner, Auntie.